If you've been struggling to figure out how to connect WhatsApp to an A10, you're in the right place. I searched through videos across all of YouTube to find a simple video and I didn't get to find any. So what I did is that I pieced all things together, including the previous video that I did about WhatsApp that went in a bit more depth. And now I prepared the simplest step-by-step -step guide to get you started. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to connect WhatsApp to your AI agent inside NA10 so that you're able to chat to it from anywhere you are, whether that's through your phone or through your laptop. And if you're new here, my name is Frank and I build AI automations and AI agents with no code and code. So if you're interested to know more about this, feel free to join my free community down in the description below. And now, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Okay, so the first step will be to create a new workflow in NA10. For this setup, I highly recommend using NA10 Cloud instead of a local instance. Why? Because chat applications like WhatsApp require SSL encryption and setting that up locally can be a bit of a pain. If you're on NA10 Cloud, then you can skip all that headache and get straight to building. Okay, so we're going to add the first node which is going to be the node responsible for receiving messages from WhatsApp. It's going to be the on messages trigger, and then you are going to create a new credential. So we're going to get these credentials from the Meta Business Suite because uh, Meta owns WhatsApp. So you're going to go to business, facebook.com go to your business page right if you don't have a business page make sure to create one by going to business.facebook.com slash settings and you should see here all the business pages that you have of course if you don't have one go to create business and then you'll go through a couple of steps to create that page but once you have that then you're going to go to settings and once you're here uh, you're going to accounts and apps now we are on the app section. Now you're going to hit add on the top corner and create a new app ID. You're probably going to be redirected to a new page. And now we're going to choose a name for the app. So in this case, it's going to be NA10 AI agent and add contact email. I'm happy with that. Hit next. And now here for use cases, you're going to select other. Okay, hit next. And now you need to select an ad type. You're going to go and select business, okay? You have to be a business to be able to access uh, WhatsApp functionalities, at least the ones that you know we want to be able to chat with an AI agent through WhatsApp. So then hit next, app name, add contact email, okay, business portfolio. Make sure you are tying it to the right business portfolio. So it's, it's what we created just before. And then go ahead and create the app. So now we are inside the dashboard of the app that you just created. Now we are going to set up the WhatsApp integration. So you're just going to hit here. You're going to click set up on the WhatsApp icon and that's it. So now that we have the WhatsApp API configured, we're going to go to app settings, basic, and now you're going to be presented with this. What you're going to grab is the app ID and the app secret, which correspond to the client ID and the client secret in NA10. So let's go ahead and grab that. So first of all, the app ID, let's paste that here, and then the app secret. So we're going to hit show, grab that and paste it here. Now you're gonna hit save and it should say connection tested successfully and credentials successfully created down below. So once you have that, press X. But yeah, that's pretty much the WhatsApp trigger set up. Feel free to also, you know, call it something else if you want. When message received, if you want, let's do that. So now we should be able to send messages to the WhatsApp number associated to the app that we just created in Meta for developers before. Okay, now in order for this to work, we need to add an AI agent or an LLM. In this case, we're going to add an AI agent. So go to advanced AI and then AI agent. Cool. So you have this here. You can leave this as it is. And now we're going to set a chat model or a language model in this case. The easiest one out of all is usually OpenAI. So let's click OpenAI chat model. You might not have the credentials set up. So let's create a new one and you need an API key. Okay, you should have this base URL already set up. But for the API key, you're going to go to OpenAI uh, platform, select API platform. Okay, make sure to log in or create an account if you don't have one. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, in this case, I logged in already. Um, so you have different, different things that you can choose from, different sections. So go ahead and select dashboard and then select API keys right here, right on this section on the left. So once you're here, now we can create a new secret key and you can call it whatever. So NA10, API, WhatsApp, test, whatever you want. Let's create that key. Let's copy that. Let's go back and paste that API key. Hit save and you should be good to go. Okay, you should see connection tested successfully. So now we set up the language model and feel free to choose uh, the model of your choice. I think 4 Mini is good because it doesn't require that many tokens to run. Cool. 
Feel free to set up a memory as well. So you can select between proper uh, chat memory, right? I explained in a previous video on how to set the Poker chat memory, but for demo purposes, we're gonna choose window buffer memory, okay? This is the easiest to set up. Usually I tend to set the context window to around 10. So this is the past interactions between the model, how you know, how many conversations or interactions it's going to save before you know, it gets wiped. And if you're gonna select a tool, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, so now we are going to set the WhatsApp node to be able to send messages back to um, our WhatsApp phone number in this case. So we are going to go to WhatsApp Business Cloud and we are going to send a message. Cool, so let's create a new credential and we are going to be asked to add an access token and a business account ID, okay? So in order to grab this, we're going to go back to the app dashboard in Meta for Developers right? Basically where we were before. And we are going to go to API setup. So right here, just below the WhatsApp section. Okay, cool. Now we're here and we're going to see that uh, by default, you are going to have this test number right here. Okay. That should be your default. Uh, we're going to send it to my personal phone number. I already have it set up here because I did some testing previously, but if you don't just feel free to uh, add a phone number, there should be an option to add your own phone number there. So now that we have this set up, then we can generate an access token. So we're gonna go right here. And now you can select specific WhatsApp accounts, but uh, in order to avoid any confusion, you're going to opt in to all current and future WhatsApp accounts. Just makes your life easier. Hit save and then click, got it. So now you're going to grab this access token, hit copy, and then go back, paste that there. If you noticed, these two are different from credentials that we had to add at the start. Reason being is because uh, Meta just loves making our lives difficult. Um, so yeah, that, that's the reason. And then if you see here another test number, you're going to see the WhatsApp account, business account ID. Go ahead and copy that and paste it right here. With this, you should be ready to go. Hit save and it should say connection tested successfully. Okay, you can go back. And now we are gonna go through this. Okay, so first of all, resource message, operation send. The sender phone number is going to be this phone number, right? This test phone number. In this case, it's not allowing me to select. Normally you have a drop down where you can select the test phone number, but for some reason it's not, it's not letting me do that because meta once again. So you can either add the phone number or the ID. I'm gonna add the ID, because it's a bit easier. Um, if you wanna add a phone number here in any of the fields, make sure you add the code, right? So if you're in the UK, you usually add plus four four. If it's the US, you add plus one. But I'm gonna add the ID. The recipient's phone number is going to be my own phone number. Uh, there's other options as well. We can send audio, location, video, and all that. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, but we'll leave it for text now. And the text body. So we just wanna uh, understand that we actually receive a message from any so we're just gonna put something like success. Now we need to send a message to the WhatsApp number associated with the app that we made before. So if you go back to Meta for Developers, where we made this, if you remember, where we built the app and we did all the WhatsApp setup, you're going to grab this test number here, okay? And you're going to add that to your WhatsApp, either on your phone or your desktop app, okay? In this case, I have my desktop app right here. So what I'm gonna do is just do like that so that we're able to see also uh, the messages that I sent. Okay, so make sure to hit save to not uh, lose any progress, right? You don't wanna lose any progress. And then we are going to hit test workflow and then I'm going to send, hey. Okay, so we get an error. It says error in subnode, window buffer memory, no session ID found. Okay, so there's an error in the window buffer memory. We're gonna open that. And basically, if we're adding memory, uh, and it then needs a key so that it stores all the past interactions uh, between me and the LLM on WhatsApp. The reason we need this is so that, uh, let's say you have a conversation with the LLM or the agent in WhatsApp, and you mention the name of your dog, right? If you mention the name of your dog again, uh, later on, let's say the name of your dog is Ruffles, and then, you know, you say, what is the name of your dog? The name of my dog is Ruffles. What does Ruffles do? You want the LLM to remember who Ruffle is. Um, so in this case, we are uh, storing in this ID 10 previous interactions in WhatsApp between you and the LLM. Where do we find this, right? We need to change this. So we're gonna define below, okay? We need a key. The key can potentially be anything, okay? It just has to be something unique to your account in WhatsApp. So in this case, something unique can be your WhatsApp number. Uh, we're gonna refer to this object back in the window buffer memory node. And if you can see, we don't have any previous data here, no input data, right? As you would have here in this AI agent node. So this is gonna happen to you uh, at some points if you have this agent set up and there's a trick behind it. So what you can do is add this really smart syntax 
Okay, so this is fixed right now. Let's put it on expression. And this syntax is, you know, targeting that object mentioned in my phone number. Here, what you need to put is the name of your node between these uh, quotes. Okay, so when message received, and we're doing this here as well. Okay, it's very specific. Dot item dot JSON dot contact zero WhatsApp ID. So you're going to see this here. The contacts, contact zero, uh, WhatsApp ID. Okay, this is a smart way of mentioning this object here when, you know, you can't for some reason. So cool. All right, we're storing uh, 10 past interactions. Feel free to change the number if you want. Now let's test it out again. Make sure to hit save to not lose any progress. Test workflow, I'm gonna press hey, and let's see what happens. Okay, so problem in node AI agent. Now we have another problem. Let's have a look. So essentially we don't specify the user message that the LLM is gonna intake right to generate an answer so we're going to select the find below and now we are going to choose an input the input in this case is going to be well what we sent right in this case the 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 hey over here what i sent on whatsapp so text body we're going to grab that and put that right there okay cool now we're going to go out once again let's hit save and now let's test this once again test workflow let's write hey and let's see what happens okay cool we receive success, which means that this whole workflow works right from start to end. We're able to receive messages onto um, anything to the agent and then send back a message from the agent onto the WhatsApp via the API. And now we are going to go to WhatsApp Business Cloud and instead of just say uh, you're sending success, we are going to send uh, the actual message from the agent. So if you see here, Hey, I'm here for you. Let me know how I'm going to help. We're going to paste that right here. Okay. Well, let's not add the success part. And now this whole thing should be able to work from start to finish, including uh, the AI agent receiving messages from WhatsApp and also sending the output from the uh, OpenAI chat model in this case. Okay. So let's hit save. And now we're going to test this a bit. Okay. Well, actually, if you want to test it without having to click test workflow all the time, you can set this from inactive to active workflow activated cool right now this is kind of preparing it for production right since we don't have to test the workflow anymore so now let's ask i don't know let's, let's ask whatever uh who is let's uh, michael jordan and we should uh receive a message back cool michael jordan blah 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 what is the event horizon of a black hole right you get the idea so now we have this connected fully, as you know. So this is only scratching the, the, the tip of the iceberg. You can do so many things with the WhatsApp API inside NA10. So I only gave an example. So this is just retrieving text, right? But you can also send back to the user images, locations, video, document, contacts, audio. You get the idea, right? And also you can input, right? You can input the agent through, through WhatsApp audio as well. You can open input images. So actually I made a video about this on how you can input images and I didn't do videos because it was a bit more involved, but images and also audio. So uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to that video if you want to, you know, go in a bit more depth. But yeah, anyways, if you want to see uh, anything else, uh, any, you know, further agents on WhatsApp, right? Any more uh, complex agents on WhatsApp. Let me know as well to mess around perhaps with with any of these functionalities location as well. Right. Which is which is insane. Um, but yeah, that's that for that. One last thing that we can do uh, to avoid any redundancy is to add a filter here. So we can add an if statement. And the reason we can add an if statement is so that we make sure that whatever we're sending to the agent to answer back is text. OK, this is just to make the agent a bit more robust. So what we could do is go here exists and then we can send well, if you know, the message actually exists, you know, if we actually are sending any message, that's true, then we're going to reply back with an answer from the agent. Okay, so let's make sure this works. Let's put that uh, on testing phase as well. So that you can see how this flows. Let's test workflow. And let's select, hey, and you're going to see that it goes through and then we get, hey, can I assist you today? Okay. Cool. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something useful out of it. Uh, this was a pretty basic demo and video on how to set this up as quick as possible, right? I know there has been a lot of doubts with regards to setting up your AI agent on WhatsApp using an A10. So this is probably the easiest video that you're going to find out there. So hopefully you managed to, to follow along. If you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, it really helps the channel a lot 
not if you give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it for some reason, please let me know why in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to have a link as well to joining the, the community if you're interested in learning more about this, how to build any other AI workflows, AI agents, automations, right? So I'll leave that in the in the description and yeah, including as well the uh, this template if you want it as well. So I'm hungry again. I'm going to go have some dinner and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.